Okay, uh, Mr. Eric Previn, come forward. We're going into our uh, multiple uh, public comment portion. Uh, so, Mr. Previn, you have items 1A, 2, 6, 7, 8, and your general public comment. Thank you. It is Eric Previn from CD2, uh, and I am running for the office of Mayor of Los Angeles. Uh, good morning, sir. And that was a very touching presentation to the building and safety guy. And there are a lot of great people uh, working in Los Angeles uh, every day. Uh, and the speaker around, is not on um, any of the agenda items. He's no, I'm on item one, President. sir, which is the build, building and now safety. Now, let's just lean. get on it, uh, Mr. Previn. Thank you. Building and safety liens. I'm sorry, item number one. I, that's what I thought I was speaking on. It is the, uh, the typical building and safety lien item, item number uh, one. It's 16-0160-S931 uh, is in CD3, so it is Mr. Bob Blumenfield who is going to get the prize today. He is the only brave council member to put a pernicious lien on his constituents today, uh, and he did so even after Bonin made that very touching but disingenuous remark about how it's nice uh, what we're doing. And what we are doing uh, should be enforcing in the Palisades the egregious expansionism, but instead we're going after people who've already fixed their garage. Uh, on February 17th, that's today, a man was directed to come here, uh, but they couldn't find it on the agenda, so that's why we're talking about Blumenfield's item. Let's and get on the item. Yeah, I am, I'm, I'm talking about Blumenfield's item, sir. You can't, you got to be a little quicker if you're going to interrupt no, me. No, you have to be on the item. Again, I'm on the item, and I do not want to have these kinds of disagreements with you about whether no, or not I'm on Mr. the No, Mr. Previn, you don't run the meeting, so just stay on the item. Okay. Or you can sit down. I, okay, I think uh, I'm going to not sit down, certainly, but I'll speak on item number two now, which is Mr. Weezar's district, uh, because you don't want me to speak on item number one, the lien item that I was speaking on directly. Um, this, of course, is uh, some treasured partners, the Barkers. I believe it's uh, Byron and maybe Ann. The two of them together have a festival of LLCs, but this is one where we're taking an $80 million bond uh, it's a lease revenue bond. Mr. Fauble could explain that we have no liability whatsoever. We have nothing to do with it other than you guys are approving it. Um, and then what they're going to be able to do is get on with the important work. Uh, I believe this is in Price's. No, it's in Weezar's district. It's a 14-floor structure, uh, 66 or market rate of the 500 and some odd units. Um, and the only part that the city is required to do is make sure that they're in ADA compliance, which is Fauble will look down now. Independent Living showed that the city was not doing a very good job of monitoring that, and thus the ADA uh, work was not done on dozens and many, many properties, costing us $225 million in liability. So I'm hoping that this time the city will look very, very closely to make sure that all of the appropriate accommodations are in place, because this is a, this is a, a disaster, if I may. Um, finally, we have three reward items, and I wanted to just simply clarify that we are now on to how it works. When you uh, post a reward, you post in the Los Angeles Times, and Zahn Eiser and Emily working hard every single day to bring real good information. Um, what we do is it costs $1,800 to run the ad. So I propose that instead of running the ad, we give uh, the money to the victims. Thank you. Give him his one minute for 